Impact factor is the number commonly used to compare journals. Using citation counts from Web of Science, Thomson Reuters calculates this number to show how much impact or influence a given journal has within its discipline. The formula is relatively simple. The total number of citations a journal received during the previous two calendar years is divided by the number of citable items that journal published during the same time frame. So, if every article published in Journal of Awesome got one citation, its impact factor would be one. Of course, citation practices and trends vary among disciplines, so it's important to only compare impact factors within the same field. Agriculture journals with other agriculture journals, physics to physics, and so on. Web of Science and Journal Citation Reports, or JCR, are the authoritative places to check a journal's impact factor. Thomson Reuters uses their own citation counts to calculate impact factors, so it is virtually impossible for others to duplicate these calculations. Many journals list their impact factor on their homepage or in their Wikipedia article. Web of Science and JCR are the official places this information comes from. And now for exactly how to quickly find the impact factor for a journal. We'll search for salamanders. Each article in your results list will have its journal listed underneath as a link. When you click that link, a pop-up window appears. This window has a snapshot of the most recent impact factor as well as the five-year impact factor, which is the same calculation just over the course of five years. There's also some important context that helps you understand the impact factor, the category and quartile rankings. These allow you to easily understand how this journal compares to similar journals in its field. You can also search in the Journal Citation Reports database to get the full list for each journal category. as well as the historical list of a journal's impact factor. It's important to keep in mind that impact factor only speaks to the citation metrics of a journal, and it shouldn't be used as a proxy for quality, especially at the author or article level. For more information about citation metrics and other quality measures for articles, journals, publishers, and authors, ask a librarian.